What's going on car family? I'm Ben Wayne. Thank you for joining me in another video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at this beautiful truck. This is a 2021 GMC Sierra 1500 4x4 Crew Cab Denali Carbon Pro Edition. That is a long name, but this is GMC's submission into a highly competitive field of luxury full-size trucks. So today, we're gonna to take a look at the exterior and interior details of this truck, which has been finished in cayenne red with a beautiful jet black leather interior and see how this ride has been engineered for excellence. When it comes to the front, you guys already know that this GMC Denali is based off the Chevrolet Silverado. But if you look at the front, it looks way better than the Silverado in my opinion. This is an extremely handsome looking vehicle. I love the color, but look at the grill, the chrome accents specific to the Denali. You have the GMC badge, which also happens to go well with the red paintwork as well. And then a camera underneath the GMC badge. This car is full of technology. So of course you have cameras on all sides, but coming towards the headlamps, full LED headlamps. You have your C-shaped LED daytime running lamps, and then you have LED low and high beam headlamps, and then LED fog lamps. So it's LED everything up here. Now, if you take a look at the hood, it's not been overstyled. It doesn't look like it's way overdone to make this car look obnoxiously aggressive. I like the way it looks. Now, underneath the hood, you do have a wide array of options. This particular truck features the Ecotec 6.2 liter V8. That's getting you 420 horsepower and 460 pound foot of torque connected to a 10 speed automatic transmission. That's getting you zero to 60 around 5.7 seconds or so. It's able to get this truck up and moving relatively quickly. I loved the throttle response when behind the wheel of this vehicle. Now, your other engine option is also a 5.3 liter V8, which is capable of putting out 355 horsepower and 383 pound feet of torque. And of course, there's a diesel option. So you're getting a three liter diesel straight six as an option that's putting out 277 horsepower and 460 pound foot of torque. Let's go ahead and check out the side profile. When it comes to the side profile of this Denali 1500, again, this is a very handsome looking truck with the red and the different trims. You have the chrome and the black, but one thing that might jump out at you are these 22 inch high gloss black wheels. They look stunning against this red paintwork provides an excellent contrast. Again, this is a luxury truck. So if you're looking to go off-road, check out their AT4 model. But for this luxury vehicle, you're getting 22 inch wheels and they just look stunning, especially against this paintwork. Now coming further back, open the door, you have automatic deploying running boards, pretty standard. Now, when it comes to the competitors of the Denali, you notice they have a step here to get access to the back of the bed. The Denali 1500 doesn't have that, but what it does have you simply kick the back of the running board, it retracts backwards, and then you can step and reach those hard to reach areas that are in the back of the bed. To me, that's pretty neat. And if you want it to go back, just kick it again, and it goes back forward, just that simple. Let's go ahead and check out the rear of the vehicle. All right, guys, it's time to check out my favorite feature about this truck, the tailgate. This is by far the coolest feature of this truck. This is a six-way multifunction tailgate. Check this out. I'll press the top button here and I instantly have a workstation. So it's at the right height. I can put tools or whatever here and it's really just easy to use. Now there's another level here. Pull that back, doubles as a bed extender. So now I have a bed extender here. That's two ways right there. Let me put this back up. I'll press the bottom button here. From there, I have a traditional tailgate system. So that's pretty neat and then again, the bed extender that's four ways right there that is so cool now let's say i want to get something that's in the back here but i don't have access to it because i'm too far out i'll simply press the top button again it drops down again and gives me more access to what's in the back of the bed now let's say i want to get in the bed pull this lever it doubles as a step to get in and out but if i'm shorter i can use this grab bar here and it helps me with my ingress and egress that that is so cool the access that they give you that is really neat so speaking of the bed it is a carbon fiber composite bed it's able to hold up to 2233 pounds this configuration of a truck is able to tow up to 9,000 pounds and that's right this is a carbon fiber composite bed it's not just a carbon fiber liner it's actually carbon fiber composite 
which is another industry first in this class. Now there's several hooks on each corner with a 500 pound maximum force on them. So this truck is ready to go. It has everything you need. And I love the Bluetooth speakers that have been incorporated in the back here as well. So you could truly have a party with whatever setup that you require. Let's go ahead and fold this back up. Just that easy. So let's go ahead and check out the interior of this GMC Denali and then take it out on the street and see how it performs. Now, when it comes to the interior of the Denali, GMC says they spent extensive effort trying to revamp the interior and make it feel more luxurious. But in my opinion, this is where this truck falls short when it goes against its competitors. The top of the dash is covered in soft touch material. It does have faux stitching going across, but if you come lower, you still have this small eight inch display. Now, eight inches back in the day wasn't small, that was large, but you gotta think about what the competitors are putting out. They're putting out screens with a higher resolution and up to a 12 inch display. So this display is fairly responsive to be fair. It does get the job done. It does have the tech features such as your camera positions, your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto. It does have everything you need to get the job done, but I just thought this screen was a little small for it being a 2021 model. Coming further down, you do have your controls for your air conditioning system. Uh, plastic gauges here they do have a kind of a cheap plastic look to them I do wish it was either a flat black or a better looking or better feeling material something that gives me a better sense of feedback that makes me feel like I'm in a $72,000 vehicle coming lower you have all your controls for your lane assist your parking assist your eco start stop function controls for your hazards and your tailgate and then coming lower of course you have dual USB ports a cigarette lighter and a 12 volt power supply here home power supply I really like that feature here and then your trailer braking system now coming lower you do have wireless charging that's another nice feature that I like about this vehicle's interior and then two cup holders here and then of course plenty of storage here with two additional USB ports and an auxiliary input but plenty of storage in the center console here as you would come to expect now you do have some more storage on top of this center console here I do like how the wireless charging is now in the front portion of the center console instead of back here i think that's more practical and then again there's also additional storage pockets on the top of the dash here now coming over you do have dual glove compartments the bottom one locks the top one doesn't i will make mention that i do wish they did line these with felt just to kind of give it a more premium feel now you might notice this is a jet black leather interior they do hook you up with a sunroof as an option here i do wish there was a panoramic roof option here that would have definitely been nice the back looks kind of dark from up front here. Now coming over to the steering wheel, it is the traditional leather wrap steering wheel. Feels good in your hands. I think it should have been a little bit thicker in my opinion, but uh, overall it does feel good in your hands. You do have this ginormous plastic stock here. I, I, I wish they incorporated a rotary knob for your park reverse neutral and drive instead of still using this huge stock here. It kind of dates the interior. Now behind the steering wheel, there is a digital display, which is configurable. And then you have your standard tachometer and speedometer as well. Now coming over to the door panels, they're covered in a soft touch material. You do have plastic door handles with a chrome finish and then your unlock and lock buttons and two position memory. Now you do have controls for all four windows. I will make mention that the front windows have auto touch or one touch up and down functions. Uh, the rear windows just have one touch down. I wish there was one touch up as well. Now there is some open pour ashwood trim that looks nice against the door there. And then a leather rest for your arm. That premium leather really feels good. And then of course, plenty of storage and additional cup holders and the door, that's the American way. Now the seats of the Denali do feel comfortable. They do have three levels of heating and cooling. And they also feature the Denali embroidery with the stitching on the headrest that looks nice. I will say they still look a little bit plain compared to some of the competitors, but again, they definitely do get the job done. They are comfortable as well. Again, three levels of heating and cooling, and you even have an option to heat just the bottom portion or the back portion or both. So that's really nice as well. Let's go ahead and check out the rear. All right, so the first thing I noticed when sitting in the back, as I mentioned before, it's a little dark back here. And that's why I really wish GMC went ahead and just gave you a full on panoramic roof. Now I do understand that absence of the panoramic roof gives you a little bit more headroom, but how much headroom do you need in the back? I wish I had more light instead. Now, when it comes to the seating, you have bench style seating in the back here, covered in leather. They are relatively comfortable. You have acres and acres of leg room here. 
And this is why you're starting to see a lot of these crew cabs here in this segment, because a lot of people are getting out of sedans or they have a sedan, but they also have a crew cab as well. And this is really a practical family vehicle when you think about it, but it's really nice. So the seats fold up if you wanna throw additional items in the back here as well. There's also storage in the seat backs as well. Now I don't see a reclining lever anywhere here in the back here. Some of the competitors do offer reclining back seats in the rear. Doesn't seem like this GMC Denali has it. You do have heated seats though. There are two controls here for your heated seats in the back and also two USB ports with two air conditioning vents as well. So comfort is really not out of the question when it comes to the back. And then of course I wanna make mention you do have a power rear sliding glass in the back as well. Let's go ahead and get this out on the street and see how it handles. All right, so we're cruising in the GMC 1500 Denali. The ride is silky smooth. Isha, what are your thoughts on it? I couldn't agree with you more. I love it. It's very smooth, um, low road noise. Um, that's something that I look for. Um, yeah. Just an overall comfortable ride, huh? Yeah, it really is. Now, what do you think about the exterior and the color and everything? Oh, I love the color. You guys know I love a red vehicle. Um, particularly a red like this, it's deeper. It's, a deep it's not red. too, you know, in your face. Um, and I love the chrome accents. The chrome accents yeah. are stunning on this vehicle. Yeah, this Goes one, well. I like. The yeah. body style is very nice. It's not too boxy and it's not too monster truck. Right, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> now, when it comes to the interior, um, the seats are exceptionally comfortable. They do feel well and three mm -hmm. levels of heating and cooling. Uh, how, how is it for you? Uh, very, it's comfortable. Um, I like the leather. Um, keeps me planted. Yep. You know, I have some side bolstering here. Um, yeah, you know, it's not overdone. Um, for this price point, I guess I could ask for some, you know, diamond stitching or something like that. Yeah, I mean, 72000 Yeah. The seats do look a little bland. I will yeah. agree with you on that. They look a little bland, uh, but overall the comfort is there. Definitely in the back as well tons of leg room back there like i said you know people are trading in their sedans and getting stuff like this for their right. families because it's just so practical right. you know i guess what i'm starting to see in these vehicles these trucks um they're not overdone and i think what i'm looking for is not what's found in these vehicles mm -hmm. you know all of the stitching and stuff i think people are just saying hey i want a nice truck and you know with some chrome accents a little bit of wood here and i'm good to go exactly you know exactly now, you were saying about the sunroof, you wish it was a full panoramic roof, right? Yeah, um, I feel cheated on that because <laughs> I'm getting used to the panoramic. Um, you know, just because it is dark on the inside, mm -hmm. I wish that there was a, a full, full panoramic, panoramic roof to provide more light on yeah. the inside. And a lot of the competitors are giving that full panoramic roof as well, so I hope that's something that GMC revisits when it comes to the interior. Mm -hmm. The interior overall, um, it does seem to be just okay, right? Uh, their competitors are coming with larger screens and their competitors have a more premium feel. I wish GMC would revisit this. I wish there was a larger screen. I wish the steering wheel was a little bit thicker and maybe had some wood trim there. Yeah. Just my thoughts on that. There's things that could be done a little bit. This seems a little outdated. Yeah, the huge stock. Yeah. Like, why are we still doing this yeah. in like 2020? Why are we still doing that? 2021? <laughs> or 2021 yeah true <laughs> true so um but the tech is there you do have a huge 15 inch head up display um which i like yes it's which nice I like the, the camera in the yeah, rear view mirror the ram 1500 nice. didn't have that and you have all these options for your camera system as well like look at that just tons and tons of options so parking this or seeing what's in the bed. Yeah, if somebody jumps in there, you can see it. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> it's easy, right? So yeah. it shows you everything that you could possibly want to see. So the camera system in here is amazing. The overall quality of the image, I wish it was a little bit sharper, but it definitely gets the job done. Nice. You do have your access to the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and then the wireless charging. So again, the technology features are there. Again, I just wish it was a larger screen with the higher resolution. Now, speaking about the exterior features, what I do really like is the um, flat lift. You here. mean the uh, automated uh, steps? Yeah. yeah. The steps that come out when you open the door. Yes, I, I really like that. <laughs> and then there's the feature of if you kick it, it goes towards the back. Oh, yes, that was nice. That's something that I, like I that. definitely would use um, because on 
the other vehicles, I definitely had tried out the, the step mm -hmm. that's there. Yeah, so, yeah. So um, I like that and that it's automatic. It comes to the back, to the front, and folds in. Yeah, that was nice. I really love that feature. But my favorite feature, and I think no, one of no, yours no, is... No, I got to say it. Go ahead. Is the six multi-functional trunk the The lid. six... No, what, no. what are we calling this? The, the flatbed. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, tailgate. It's a six-way multifunction tailgate. tailgate. Got it. I knew I was going to get it. I knew I was going to get it. Man, when I did that demonstration, you could see her face. She was blown away behind yeah. the camera. He, she had no idea. Was be blown away. <laughs> she had no idea that it did all of that. So that that's amazing that's engineering right there. really cool. And I actually tested it out for myself, mm -hmm. um, you know, just to see the different features and uh, see if I could do it. And, um, you know, I really like that it's automated now to mm -hmm. hit the buttons. Um, yeah. The only parts that are not automated is the bed extender. Yeah, the um, bed extender. And then to actually pull down the small point, uh, the small lip to get more access yeah. to your flatbed. Yep. Now, what I need as, because that tailgate, it is quite heavy. Yeah. Um, I wish that it was automated. However... No other vehicle truck is offering this, right? So I cannot be too mad about that, right? Right. So <laughs> only the GMC Denali model has that, right? So you're not going to find this on any other truck. Now that is an amazing aftermarket opportunity uh, for people who are looking to do that aftermarket, because I can right. imagine a lot of people would want that. So right. that is by far the best feature I think of this truck. That was just amazing and blew me away. Right. So powering this is the 6.2 liter V8. It is able to get this truck up and going quite rapidly. See, I'll put down and it just takes off. It sounds good too, but yeah. it really gets this thing moving uh, quite quickly, right. right? So the acceleration is there and we took this out on the highway. It, it moves just as quick as well. So I'm really pleased with the amount of power it has. Doesn't feel underpowered whatsoever. And then um, another amazing feature is just how smooth the ride is. I really love how smooth the ride is in this vehicle. It, it almost feels like you're driving a luxury car, right? Right, it is. Because of how quiet it is, like you said, minimal road noise. And then, you know, just the how smooth it is, you know. And, and then you have stuff like a heated steering wheel or heated seats in the front and back. You have ventilated seats up front. And then just all the cameras the parking system and everything you know if you think about it it makes you feel like you're in a luxury vehicle because it gives you all the luxury amenities that you would want right so um when it comes to these luxury trucks this is a pretty fierce segment here in north america competition is just crazy so you've got you know offerings from all the major brands here so that's why i keep pointing to you to this eight inch display like the competitors are coming hard with larger displays, right? I'm not saying this car doesn't have the tech, but I wish GMC might revisit this interior to make it feel a bit more premium. Um, like I was saying earlier, if you open up the glove box, it's uh, just plastic lined, you know? I wish it was felt lined, right? It might seem like I'm being over analytical, but that's my job to find the faults in these cars to see how they could be improved. But, you know, something that makes it feel a little bit more premium, we're talking Seventy-two thousand dollars, Isha. Right. For this, right? So, it's a lot of money. But overall, this is definitely a truck that will get the job done. Whether you're using it for your work or family needs, um, it's always good to just have a truck, right? And to have a truck with all these features, such as the head-up display, the pedestrian detection. I think it checks off. It really does. You know, um, even though there's, there's some features that I would like to see in it, mm -hmm. I think that it's, it's an overall good vehicle. It is a good vehicle overall. Yeah. And the color is amazing. So that's my thoughts on the behind the wheel segment of this one. Isha, did you have anything that you wanted nope, to close with? I can't agree with you more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll leave it off here. Thanks. So that was a quick look at this 2021 GMC Sierra 4x4 Crew Cab Denali Carbon Pro Edition. 
What do you guys think about this one? It features a lot of different aspects. I love that six-way multifunction tailgate, by far the coolest feature of this truck. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Please remember to hit that like button, that definitely helps. Share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, I'm Ben Wayne, the automotive reviewer that YouTube deserves.